Hello and welcome to our podcast, The Junkies. I'm Dave O'Neill. I'm Kitty Flanagan. It's the Compare and Contrast episode on the Sweet and Salty Roundabout. Get on board! Choo choo! Now, I've got to ask you, which is something you often ask me, because you've been on tour a lot. What have you been, what mm. have you been eating? One of the best things we started doing, I'd say, this tour is we call it chip o'clock mm. at around 6 o'clock in the dressing room. That's chip o'clock. And Penny's invented the chip cup. So we just mm. have a packet of chips. We've always got about four different packets of chips on mm. the go because we all stay in an Airbnb together. Mm. So you go, which chips are we taking for chip o'clock? And then we just grab a couple of – so we had chicken chips. Penny's really into those sweet chilli – no, the chilli Yeah, chili I know chips. what you mean. She yeah, likes yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would ruin it for me because I don't like those. No. But, yeah, so you just pour yourself a cup of chips. It's the perfect amount before a show. Mm. And so, yeah, so we did a lot of chipper clocking. Had a very disappointing incident at the project. Me, me and Glenn went on the other night and I see the chips – we couldn't we couldn't go up to the green room because Troy Savan, oh, he's a pop star, oh. he had his own entourage and hair and makeup and wardrobe up there. There was no room for us. Wow. So we had to sit downstairs and the, the, but the, the producer got some chips and stuff for us and I saw a pile and on the top was honey soy. I'm like, I had them. And you know those tiny little packets? Yeah, there's three like chips a, a in them. play lunch kind of thing. Yeah, that's not even a cup's worth, I tell you. No, and so then I was going to go back for more, but they were all those sweet chilli flavour. Yeah, Gee, I was disappointing. Yeah, God Penny damn. loves them. She kept buying different chilli chips. Any money, Troy Savan's up there eating more my chips. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever he is, he's a big pop star. Anyway, yeah, we so. We had lots of different flavours yeah, of chips. Go on. Oh, I was eating a lot of these biscuits that we've got coming up because I bought two packets of mm. those and managed to save. There's mm. only about three left in that pack. Sweet yeah. stuff. We had some Maltesers because the Airbnb oh, owner left us a big thing. Love Maltesers. Maltesers. Yeah, they're always better than anything. Just grab a yeah, handful. Yeah, beautiful. And then I really get into, I can't get enough of a drumstick after the show. Oh. So that's my treat after the show. A drumstick? Go home, watch some television and eat a drummy. Oh, what flavour? Well, the we were having vanilla because Penny bought them and she bought like minis. Oh. So, oh, it's, yeah, I know. I hate to swear, but fuck off. <laughs> so she bought the minis. No, I mean we've had them, they're, but they're and then not I just bad. Have, yeah, they're good, but I just have to wait for everyone to go to bed so I can have another one. Oh. Um, <laughs> That's funny. So then I went to the shops and I came back with the big um, ones, the big ones. But mm. what is that? What's the flavour? Is it not really hokey pokey? Oh, oh, they're just they're the best. They've got like a beach scene on yeah, the um, right. on the packet. Right. I've talked about them on this before, mm. and I thought they were a limited edition. Oh, mm. just. People just get some. Get some. They've got crunchy honeycomb bits in them. Mm. They are one of my favourite drummies. Ooh, yeah, good okay. drummy, good drummy. Excellent, excellent. And Glenn report. was Glenn was eating a lot of um, dark mint Kit Kat. Oh, he bought one of those. Yeah, no, I haven't had that yet. I reckon I'd like. That. Oh, it's good. I reckon I'd like that. Are you you haven't had the dark mint Kit Kat? Nope, nope. Well, I recommend next it. next time. Yeah, I recommend it. Well, I've fallen in love with um, chocolate rainbows. What are they called? They're the new 7-Eleven clinker. We'll get to those, so don't oh, talk about those yet. man. I've been eating a lot of them. Okay. Oof. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. And what else? Have you been on the road? Yeah, yeah. What's in your car? What's travelling with you at the moment? I, I Look, I've been buying these from the supermarket. They sell these. Oh, there must be an off-brand Malteser, but they're bigger than Maltesers. Ooh. And they're good. They're good. Yeah, Like, they're bigger. Good. They're bigger than a Malteser. I bought a packet mm. today and ate them all. Um <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating them. I've been eating those Seven Eleven clinkers. And oh, in- do you know what else I've been eating? Yeah, chewy caramel Tim Tams. Oh, I'm not even into Tim Tams anymore. But the chewy caramel oh. Tim Tam, there's something about it. Yum. Yeah, I bought a few packets of those. Too. Yeah, I'm not. I'm a bit over Tim Tams, but they. I've had them and they are very yeah. good. Yeah. So tachuinas. that would be. I'd do chip o'clock. Mm. And then I'd, eh, it's enough salty, and so I'd, I'd do a bit of sweet with my uh, mm. with my chewy caramel. T- it's the texture, it's the chewiness. I'm still hung up on CCs, to be honest. Oh, every time I see them, Dave, there's a shop. I'm trying to think. Oh, I know where it is. It's the IG up here. I must get you some because they no, sell it's... the mega bags. Oh no! I, and no, all the flavors. Oh, yeah, they've got all the flavors up there. Yeah, they because oh. you can't get them in no, many places. No, no service stations. No milk bars and mm. IGAs. Tend yeah. to have them. Yeah, that's the IG out there's got them. Also, I was down the beach and I sent you a photo. Of the licorice. Um, oh, you found the sherbet bombs. Oh, I've seen, since I've seen you, I've bought two packets and eaten them all. 
<laughs> my kids are like, these can, you, are... can you tell the story of what Kieran said? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> you she sent said, me a text. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kieran said, you like sense. Oh, that's oh, right. Look what do I you, found. Do and she <laughs> said, do you hate yourself? And no, do you was, hate your body? Yeah, and he said, I couldn't answer because I was too busy eating a <laughs> sherbet bomb. <laughs> I'm like, this. <laughs> and the kids are like, these are disgusting. Oh, well, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but they are great, those sherbet bombs. They, oh, the best. Yeah, I'd like a, I'd like a packet of those for my car. You want some? Yeah, that's okay, a good car. Okay, I'm going to get some for yep. you. All right. I've got to get in the booth. Because that'll, that'll take me all the way from like oh. here. that would get me to the golf course, I reckon. Oh, that's easy. half-hour drive. Yeah. Easy. Oh, it got me from Melbourne to Lawn, which is two, two hours. <laughs> Bloody chew. How many of them are you going to eat? Oh, I bloody love them. Anyway, okay, let's do compare and contrast. Yeah, we're going to start with the original, which is the Ice Vovo. Love Sorry, I'll, I'll tell you what we're doing. So, yeah. um, Cocoa Black, even though we had that disgusting <sighs> fancy pants rocky road last week, <sighs> we've gone, they've brought out an Iced Vovo, Cocoa Black have. Looks like a finger sandwich. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like, yeah, like an afternoon tea sandwich. But it's quite the um, Tell you it's what, a though, hefty bar. Looks impressive. It does look impressive. But I thought I'd better get the um, original to compare it to. So I've bought some iced Vovo biscuits. Arnott's. From Arnott's. Love. I haven't had these for ages, but I always love them. Yeah, they're always better than you they're, think. They're be- they're Chewy qu- jam in the middle. In terms of commercial biscuits, these are great. What's interesting, though, is um, mm-hmm. Cocoa Black have gone for marshmallow on theirs, whereas yeah. we know that the traditional iced vovo is not marshmallow, it's a fondant. That's it. We just we went through that last time. Yes. There was a copier that did marshmallow, but it was never the iced vovo. That's right. It was Yeah. Yes. It was something like a peak fringe yes. biscuit or something. Yes. Like a New Zealand one maybe. So don't so keep your correspondence about the iced vovo has marshmallow. No, it doesn't, it's fondant. Is it fondant? we I'm picking it up right now. Someone someone should tell Coco Black. It looks like marshmallow, that's the problem. Yeah. Because it's got coconut on it. All right, let's go into the original. Mm. Oh, yeah, still good. That's a really lovely biscuit with tea. Beautiful. We've still got to do a biscuit episode with Glenn. Glenn Robbins, not I've had one of his biscuits. Yeah, well, he eats weird biscuits, but he, he's a biscuit <laughs> eater. But I don't know, would he eat, it? Would he eat biscuits? Yeah, yeah, he'd, he'd on, quite, um, yeah, he would, absolutely. Oh, yeah, he had a muffin the other day. He'd eat yeah, he would, absolutely. He could um, just have a bite. He would absolutely eat it. Because he's very health conscious. He is. They're good. Okay. Now. Yeah, you go over his house, oh, I've got these biscuits. No, you'd really like them. And it's like. Oh, what it's are just, those? Oh, my God. That yeah, it's a is, big old wedge, isn't it? So, it's a chocolate biscuit. No. Oh, so, that's a, yeah, there's a big slab of chocolate. Is it all chocolate or is it biscuit? Biscuit. Ooh. Biscuit covered in chocolate and then with a big slab of marshmallow and jam on the top. <laughs> Not bad. It's very jammy. Oh, nice. The jam's dominating. I think they've gone a bit heavy on the jam stripe. It's a raspberry jam, isn't it? Tell you what, though. I love biscuit and marshmallow because I love a wagon it's wheel. It's like wagon wheel. It's, it's more like a wagon it's wheel a than wagon a nice wheel. Bovo. God damn it. Okay, so it's a milk chocolate coated biscuit topped with strawberry, rose water, marshmallow, raspberry jelly, and coconut. I'm eating it all. It's pretty nice. You've resurrected yourself, Coco Black. Yeah, that's a lot better than... But oh. see, a chef didn't make that. Yeah. Just the standard lab guys. How much was that? Probably about 15 bucks. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Marshmallow, underrated. Oh, sick. oh, you ate quite a bit. Good on you. No, yeah, beautiful. Mm. Loved it. It looks like an ice fovo, but it doesn't taste like one. It tastes no. like a wagon wheel. It's a wagon wheel. wheel. Mm. It's a wagon wheel with a bit of coconut. <laughs> so. Get over yourself, Coco Black. It's a wagon <laughs> wheel with a bit of coconut. Get them on the line. Great. So next, next we're doing a Kit Kat with the... What is it? Blue. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, ocean water swimming. Um, what am I? I'm in the bay. I'm not in the ocean. I'm in the bay. It's still an ocean. So, Brooksy, our friend Brooksy, Brooksy, he brought back from England something called the Blue Ribboned with a D on the end. Never so seen blue that. Blue Ribboned. Never seen that. And I'd never seen it either. He said these were the things that his mum used to use as a bribe. Like, finish your homework and you can have a Blue Ribboned. Finish your homework, Brooksy. You'll get Blue yeah. Ribboned, love. <laughs> so... He said, oh, they're bloody delicious. You've got to try them. He did give us two. I did eat one. But they're very much like a Kit Kat. So I thought, I'll see because I know you love a Kit Kat. I love a Kit Kat. So let's see what you think. Have a break. Of this compared to the Kit Kat. 
I actually think it's quite good, but I think it's a bit lighter. Oh, okay, lighter wafer. Yeah, well, it's yeah, maybe not so heavy on the chocolate. Okay. So hang on. Do you want to? Which one do you want to try first? Oh, I should go Kit Kat first. You're right. Let's go the original. We always okay. go the original first. The original first. The original okay. and the best. They say. Hmm. There you go. Have yourself a finger of that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, and the blue okay. ribbon doesn't come in fingers either. It's just it's like, it's one bar. It's like a chunky Kit Kat. Yeah. Ah, oh, still good. The chocolate and Kit Kat's good. It's malty. Mm. How do they do it? There's chocolate, there's fondant, there's biscuit. Mm. Okay, and then here's your blue ribbon, which is a bit more like one of those, you know, those angel wafer biscuits, but covered yes. in chocolate. Yes. Or Tina wafers. What were they called? Oh, it's exactly like a teen, teen wafer. It's nice though, isn't it? Not as sweet as a Kit Kat. No. More wafer. It's almost a bit um coffee-ish. It is a bit coffee. What is, is is that what you is that what it's called? A teen teen wafer? What, what were you saying? What they um, called? called remember a- Remember those biscuits were called Tina wafers uh, yes. and they came in the three different colours. Yes, there was a yellowy kind of one. Yeah, white, yellow and thing. a pink one. And a chocolate. Yeah. Oh, it's very similar to that with a bit of chocolate on it. See, it tastes like those biscuits. I sometimes buy those as well. I've started buying those from, you know, in delis and Italian mm. shops. They have those little yeah. bags of and they're like a little box. Yeah. Like a little square wafer. I love those because I need yeah. about five of them. You like them. Uh-huh. Yeah. How cosmopolitan of you. <laughs> Um, They're really light before a show. I just like bang them in. Yeah, a bit of sugar. Um, I still prefer Kit Kat. Sorry, Boxy. Hmm. But that's not bad. Yeah, I think the Kit Kat, you know, I mean. It's a classic. It's a classic. Can't compete. But it's it's pretty good. I was was surprised at how good that blue ribbon Mm. was. All right, next. Well, we're really chewing through. I might need to take just a pause for a sec. Okay, pause. Let's pause. Contrast episode continues, but sorry, I had to take a break. We were really putting a lot of food in there we in a were. hurry, and I just needed to pause, cleanse my palate. But now, and now we're back with clinkers versus clunkers. <laughs> no, they're the Seven Eleven home brand version called Chocolate Coated Rainbows. What a ridiculous name! The worst. Couldn't they call it <laughs> like palettes or you know, chocolate coated anything? Chocolate. You don't have to say they're chocolate coated. We know that you can yeah. see that. I mean, what about something that sort of? I can't believe it's not clinkers. Or, or just something that sort of is more in the spirit of the clinker, like you know that it's a lottery. Oh, you know, okay. Like what about chocolate lotteries? Chocolate lottery is not bad. You no, know, because you don't know what you're going to get, or the mystery. Pellets. Like, Mystery, um, mystery pellets. Mystery pellets. <laughs> I don't know that mystery pellets works. Cil- cylinder. What does it look like? It does look a bit like a. Well, they're a bit nuggety. Nuggety. Like mystery nuggets. Mystery no, nuggets. That sounds like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how they had problems, and then they just settled but on I rainbows. Think, I think chocolate lottery is good. Chocolate lottery is not bad. Rainbow's no good because rainbow seems to indicate that you'd get all the colours in one. Chocolate chalk. Chocolate I love chalk. chocolate chalk. Chocolate chalk. Yeah. Clunkers. Chalky chocks. Oh, but there I, you go. I, Have a chalky chock, Dave. I like a ch- oh, chalky <laughs> chock. Chalky chock. Go on 7-Eleven. Yeah. I reckon because the 7-Eleven people wouldn't have a lot of people in their creative department, just be one person just going, oh, Well, Jesus. it's probably just the same guy that's working behind the counter. Yeah. You know, <laughs> right. he's pressing the button as the beep, beep, beep for the petrol oh, goes yeah. off. You know, he's trying to serve you and then he's also trying to scribble down some ideas for chalky he's chocks. He's doing his engineering degree as well, probably. Yeah, so, so you know. You, anyway, to the and, eye. And at the end of the day, he's not getting paid. Isn't it 7 Eleven that doesn't pay the workers? Oh, they, it was for a while, yeah. So have a look at that. They're a darker look. They're aren't a much they? darker chocolate, the chalky chocks, yeah. Sh- shall we start with the clinkers? Let's start with the original. Oh, I love clinkers. As is tradition. Oh, I got a green one. Oh, me too. My favourite. My, it's a win. <laughs> Ooh, love I love clinkers. Lime. So good. One of my favourites. Nice chocolate. Remember these were the things I threw out my window and I thought yeah. that someone was going to have an accident. <laughs> you kept watching the news. A clinker-related accident. If a motorbike had like slid on the clinkers. I didn't, I didn't throw the plastic out, everybody. I just tipped no, out the, the bag lollies. of clinkers because I was Flanagan's. making myself sick. I'll tell you what, though. I've had one floating about my car and they take a long time to degrade. I've known as clinkers. 
<laughs> so you mean I'm not off the hook yet? Not yet. I could still be out there Kitty causing accidents. Fist cancelled due to clinkers. <laughs> Accident. Okay, let's try a chalky chalk. Oh, I love them. We'll smell. Oh, the chocolate does smell darker. Look, orange. Ooh, oh, I got orange too. Yeah, wow. <laughs> If you served those to me, I wouldn't know it wasn't a clinker. No. If I didn't have them to contrast, they're pretty I good, know. aren't they? That's pretty nice chocolate. It's yeah. not dark chocolate, no. but it's darker than yeah. the milk. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Oh, they're good, Dave. I can see where I like those. Oh, they're great. Because you can't always get clinkers in the service station mm. or, or at a 7 Eleven or whatever. But you can, you can now in the 7 Eleven get the rainbows, as we're calling them now, chalky chalk. Chalky chalks. And to get that bonus orange flavour, that's always nice. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? How do their flavours compare? Like, how does the green stack up? Because the clinker's green is bloody good. Not as good. Not I bet it's good. more just like, it hasn't got that tang. No, not as good. But you know what? Clinker's like, green is the best green there is. It's a great green. I like the Chalky Chocks orange. Yeah. It's good. All right, well, they're good. If you, good. If you happen to see those, everybody, they're just called rainbows. Some. Make your complaint at the counter about the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you better, just you get better take those with you. Oh, I can God, see you I'll be taking nervous. them. You better oh, put those yeah. back. Hey, hey, no spilling. No <laughs> spilling. I'll put the, don't worry, I love clinkers too. Yeah, there you oh, go. Bloody hell, I've got to take those. I've got to drive to Lee and Gather on Saturday night. This will be good. Um, All right. Yeah, so I've found the text from um, from, from, from me Dave. to you. Yep, yeah, where Dave was eating his sherbet bombs, and oh. Kieran said, Do you hate your body? And Dave said to me, I couldn't answer her because I had one of them in my mouth. They're so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to remember that. Oh, so good. Yeah. Okay, so now what I've got here, Dave, I've got uh, a Delta Cream, uh, Yeah. which I was surprised to find, actually. They've got them in my IGA, but you don't see them everywhere. Just no. a whole packet of Delta Creams. Which is kind of like Oreos. Kind of like Oreos, but We compared, compared them, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. The Oreo is a lot. It's a blacker biscuit. It's true. Much, much darker. It's true. But these are still a good biscuit, the mm-hmm. Delta Cream. Now, when I was driving down from Brisbane to the Gold Coast, I stopped in some weird place about maybe 15 minutes outside of the Gold Coast to get – I think I had to go to the post office. And I walked past a fruit shop and I went, what's going on there? And they had a whole wall of New Zealand Ooh. chips – and biscuits and lollies. Great. And so I stopped because I love those bluebird salt and vinegar chips. They are great. So I bought a whole bunch of bluebird, bluebird chips for Chipper Clock. Choice Bro. They were Choice Bro. Mm. We ate all those. And I saw these and they're called they're called Cameo Creams. And they look a bit like an oval version of yeah. a Delta Cream. But here's the twist. Mm-hmm. They've actually got coconut flavoured oh. cream in the middle of them. And after we had those... Tim yeah. Tam coconut, yeah, coconut ones, ones. which uh, tasted a bit like Tammy suntan lotion was for pushing, me. Pushing them. Yeah. Mm. I think this is the best coconut okay. chocolate biscuit you're ever going to have in your life. I don't want to talk it up to the max, 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 no. but <laughs> I just have. Right. So just for a compare, have a Delta cream just for the texture because sure. the it. biscuit's really good on the... <laughs> So good. That's a good biscuit. Oh, beautiful. There's a real crispness mm. to the biscuit. Beautiful. It's very short, sugary, oh. but now just get ready to go to a whole new level. Oh, Dave. come on. I'm in Rotorua as we speak. Yeah. I Here mean, you've had these? Mate, there's barely three left in the packet. Creamy, crispy, coconutty. Oh, yum. That's what the description is. Yum. Aren't they good? Oh, that's so good. How crisp is that biscuit? Unbelievable. And they've got the coconut just right, not too suntan lotion-y. Taking all my um, whatever to not eat the rest of that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's a really good biscuit. Oh, bloody so, New Zealand. They do some stuff really well. Yeah. That, I, in, the, that in the Lord of the Rings movies. And I don't know where I'm ever going to find them again because I'm never going to that weird place that I stopped in outside the Gold Coast. So I don't so know how I'm me, ever going to find those again. So, this is, I'm going to bring this up with um, some of those Kiwi comics like Melanie Bracewell and Well, I said to the guy, because it was just a fruit shop. And mm. so when I got to the counter loaded with bluebird chips, and you're like, what? I said, why, why What's going have you on? got all the New Zealand? Because he didn't look like a New Zealand, right? No. I said, why have you got all this New Zealand stuff? 
And he said, oh, the rep came in and said, I've got all this New Zealand stuff <laughs> and I thought it looked good. So I put it in here and put a sign up and it sells really well. There's, you know what? There's probably a lot of expats in the Gold Coast for sure. A lot of New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. Because Dicko, who I used to work with from Australian Idol said, when they did Australian Idol auditions in Brisbane and the Gold Coast, it was mm-hmm. like, good morning, Rotorua. He Ooh. used to joke. Because he said there were heaps of New Zealanders auditioning. Yeah, they're yeah, all okay. yeah because because of, of the weather apparently. That's right. what he reckons. Yeah. Anyway, okay. well, that's a great biscuit. I don't know if you if anyone's in New Zealand or going to New Zealand, look out for the Griffins. That's the brand, and they're called Classic Cameo Creams. When I see Guy Montgomery next, that's say, mate. Had one of your biscuits yeah, the other how day. About you Guy. bring over some Cameo Creams Just for put everybody. Them in your bag, mate. Oh, that is great. They're both great. All right. All right. Ooh. Do we continue with compare and contrast? Well, what have we got left to compare and contrast? I don't think. Or I've is that it? I can I can give you a blind test if you want to finish on a chip, but Ooh. I'm pretty uh, stuffed. Yeah, I've, yeah, I feel like I've really compared and contrasted myself. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I don't know if I, I think can, <laughs> we I can leave I'm, it there. I think we can leave it there. I'm feeling a bit stuffed too. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm just going to use my finger to just eat the last of these ants yeah. that are still all over the table from the last episode. <laughs> Dis. Justin. Well, look, we'll leave it there. That, well, let's just sum up. I'm going to say the Kit Kat came out the winner yep. against the Blue Ribbon, but mm. I think the Blue Ribbon was it, – it stood alone as a good biscuit. Yes. As a good snack, little treat, little treaty treat. Ice Vivo wins because it's an Ice Vivo, but the Cocoa Black Ice yeah. Vivo, it's more like a wagon wheel. It was more like a wagon wheel, but, but it was good. It was good. Great. Yeah. I thought too heavy on the jam, but – Dave didn't mind it. Chalky Chalk versus Clinker? Chalky Chalk versus Clinker. Mm, it's it's like hard a- for me to say because I got green in the Clinker, so that that's really- That's the king. That's it's the king. queen. But I did like the chocolate on the Chalky yeah, Chalk. Yeah, the Chalky Chalk's good. And if they would change the name to Chalky Chalk, I think I'd come around. Yeah. I think they could have my vote. Listen to us. And then Delta Cream versus Cameo Cream, even though it's not really a fair comparison because one is coconut. coconut and one was plain, but I'd still give it to that. Mm. Cameo cream because the biscuit is just so mm. crispy, so good, so crispy. Well, um, next week be listening. I've got we've got more stuff coming up. Don't worry about well, that. Well, next week what we're going to do is we're going to do what are the kids eating? And I'll tell you what they're eating, Dave. Tackies. I've seen them. Yeah, they're all on Tic Tac eating those TikTok. super hot. Oh, that's the cat launching himself at the door <laughs> trying to get in because <laughs> I locked him out. They're on Tic Tac as a, or as the taxi driver said to me the other night, it's that bloody Tic Tac. They're all addicted, mate. <laughs> They're all on bloody Tic Tac. Like, Tic Tacs. <laughs> eating blue flame tackies or something. Oh, kids, so I've got a whole bunch of tackies for us to try. They love hot stuff, don't they? It's I don't really... think they even like it. They just want to do it because everyone else does yeah. it on Tic Tac. Yeah. So we've got that. We've got more blind tests. I've got some more honey nougat from um, South Africa. I've got some crazy lifesaver products that they're bringing out. They're just going crazy. Well, there's heaps more to come. All right. Heaps more coming up next. And people have been talking about the dog, Alan's dogs, D-A-W-G. They're a new jube, the dogs, dogs. I've not seen them. I've not seen them either. Maybe they're in other states, but people on our Facebook page, and you can join the Facebook page. Alan's dogs. I'm I'm, I'm lurking in the Facebook page. Oh, okay. Dogs, D-A-W-G. WG, but I looked today in the IGA, which normally has everything, mm. not in the 7 Eleven, not in the IGA. So maybe it's wow. the Coles okay, or Woolies so thing. Alan's are throwing some shit at the wall now. Yeah, they're maybe they're to compete with the dinosaurs. Yeah. yeah. They're my current golf lolly. God, oh, they're a good lolly. God, man. Yeah. Dinosaurs are good. And do you, you know bring what the else whole are good? packet? Do you know what else are good? The glucogel bears. Have you found uh, those? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've had them on here before. Yeah, we've had them, but yeah. like, just remember them, people, because they're a good, they're a good chew. Yeah, and Linda put me onto them at the chemist, and then a guy came in <laughs> and he is said, she, "Is she a pharmacist? Yeah, Did she prescribe no, them she's for not. you?" And he, she's practically a pharmacist, pharmacist <laughs> as she says. And then a guy came in and said, "You'd be Linda mentioned on the junkies." <laughs> <laughs> And he bought some. So, hello to Linda. Great person. All right. Um, We'll see you next week.